how to play the jaw harp if you don't have any teeth. Now, if you don't have any teeth or have tooth sensitivity issues, you're gonna need to be able to play the harp up against your lips. There's a whole bunch of different styles of jaw harp out there that are specifically made for being played up against the lips like Vietnamese Dan Moy, Indonesian Karinding, plucked bamboo jaw harps, and a bunch of other styles. But what happens if we want to take a regular steel jaw harp that is specifically designed for being played up against the teeth, and we need to play it up against our lips? There's not much sustain, not much volume. It doesn't make much music like it does when it's played up against the teeth. We should talk about why that is and why the harp needs to be braced up against your teeth. A regular jaw harp rests up against the teeth and that keeps it braced firmly. But when we just hold the jaw harp in our hand, the sound decays pretty quickly. Or if we just place it up against our lips, the sound decays quickly and there's not much vibration to sustain. That is because when this reed's vibrating back and forth, if it's not firmly braced, the frame vibrates too and the two vibrations cancel each other out and kill the sustain, kill the volume. We need to have a secure place to brace the harp up against. And our lips are not that. But if we take the same jaw harp and we brace it very firmly against like this wall, it's got a lot of sustain. The harp rings out nicely. We can cheat and do that with a quick release bar clamp. I think this one cost me maybe $3 at a tool store. You can get them off the internet. Six inch quick release bar clamp. It has a quick release where it can slide up and down and it also has a clamping mechanism. And you can take yourself a Glazerin Star or Glazerin Rainbow, any of the Glazerin that have this protrusion here, and we can clamp that right on the protrusion because up against the teeth, plays well, up against the lips, doesn't play well. But when we brace the jaw harp, we're gonna slide it in our bar clamp and clamp it down. We wanna clamp it on the back side. We don't want it clamped anywhere along the reed because the reed needs to vibrate. Clamp it just tight enough to hold it firmly. We don't want to really bear down on it and warp this frame. So I got it clamped in there nicely. Now see what happens when I play it up against the lips. Lots of volume, lots of sustain, and even just holding it. This has enough mass to brace it firmly. So you can take any of these harps and clamp it and play it up against your lips, whether you have teeth uh, that are not existent or you have tooth sensitivity issues, you can play this right up against the lips. Right, almost as if you were had a full mouthful of teeth. What happens if we want to take other harps, like check out this Begvana bass Morchang, play it up against the teeth. Awesome play. But played up against the lips. Doesn't do much. Now we need to clamp this in our quick release bar clamp, but we can't really clamp onto this frame like this. You can get yourself two thin pieces of plywood, two thin pieces of wood, make yourself a sandwich, sandwich it on the frame. We wanna make sure that we're far enough back on the frame that the reed can vibrate well. We don't wanna be down here where it's gonna be clanking up against the reed. We wanna be back on the base of there. You wanna take your bar clamp and clamp it on there. Put just enough pressure to hold it firmly. We don't want to bear down and over tighten this and warp the frame because that's going to adversely affect our harp. Get it clamped in there in the sandwich. Now we have enough mass that we can play it. Up against the lips. So use this hack or this technique or this tip or this trick to be able to play almost any harp up against your lips. So now if you don't have teeth or don't want a jaw harp against your teeth, you can play it up against your lips just like a tooth play jaw harp. Anyways, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Keep your harps clean, keep them dry, keep them oiled, and most of all, be good to each other. I love y'all. Harp out. <laughs>